Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and today we'll be looking at how we can actually manage the batch email contents in SQL Payroll. So before we continue, do like and subscribe so that YouTube will help us push our guides to more people organically. So in order to do this, first we need to make sure that we have the batch email module. We can come here to File, come here to SQL Payroll Modules, and then we can make sure that this batch module is actually ticked off. All right. So if you need any help, you can always contact our support team and they will be able to guide you, right? So once this is done, so the first thing that you need to do is of course to make sure that you have this card call email in your employee. So you can come here to employee, maintain employee, right? So we have one card call email. So what we need to do is we just come here to edit, come in here and we come to notes. So the first part here, we can always see. We have a private password means every password uh, or every PDF is encrypted with a password. So the first thing that you will know is there is a certain format. So the first format is what is your employee code equals to what is your password. So example, my employee code is 0001, right? And then this is my password. So let's say example, I want to use birthday as my password. I can put this is 01 January 19. 80. This is my password for number one. And of course, number two, employee can have a different password and number three and number four. So if you want to add any extra, we just press enter 0, 0, 0, 0, 3. Then you put equals, then you can put the bracket. So 0, 2, January 1981. Then we can close it bracket like that. All right. So after that, you can also see there's a CC and BCC. So if you need to CC or BCC anyone else, you can actually insert their email at the bottom here. The next thing you can see is a PDF file name. So what is the file named after? So currently it's payslip, employee code, which is the 00001. And then what is the date or the month of the payslip? So let's say now we want to do for July 2022, we change this to July. 2022 all right so then we can also change the subject here to july 2022 all right so at the last part here you can see there's a body this is how your email will appear for your employees this is just a sample format and of course you can actually change it as and when or according to your requirements all right so this example this is how we would like it to be so once you're done we just press save and you're ready to email out Alright, so to email those out, we just come here, go back to paste tips. We select our payroll. Okay, then we say, okay, let's say I just want to do for one, say tax, apply, comes out. We just press preview. And then we say, okay, we want to use uh, the first pay slip. Okay. And then from here, what you need to do, right? This is where it's most important. We press here, we press export to email client batch. So when it's email client batch, what happens is it will actually cut and split all your different pay slips to different employees and you will email them out one by one. So no one employee can actually see everybody's pay slip. It will split up for you. So you can see this has been done. And of course, you need to make sure your Outlook or Mozilla Thunderbird is configured to be able to send this out. All right. So this is actually how we can actually manage batch email contents in SQL Payroll. Do leave a comment below if you have another guide you'd like us to cover. Thanks.